Every, every form has a hidden sound within itself. When I say a hidden sound, the surface sound of an object will come out when you strike it. If you strike a gong, the sound that you hear, the sound that many of you hate because it rings at 4.45 in the morning, that is the surface sound of that object. There will be a hidden sound to the object. If one knows the hidden sound of an object or a form rather, once you know the hidden sound of a certain form, you find you also know the form, you find a certain excess and a certain intimacy to that form. It is based on this that in this culture we name children like this, feeling the fundamental reverb of a child. Accordingly, a name was given so that by uttering the name, above all the child constantly hearing the name, will not become a closed life, will become an open possibility because constantly every time his name is uttered, something touches him very deep down inside. Not just a way of calling a person, but a way of opening a person just by uttering the name. <clears throat> the naming of a child today has become the whim of the parents according to the fashion of the times. But till recently, the naming of a child was not in the hands of the parents. Always it was somebody else who knows little better, who decided what the child should be called. Because you are naming a person for social and practical reasons, but that's not all, because the existence is just a complex uh, amalgamation of reverberations. In this complex process of various types of vibrations, you also are one. If you just become just one more, you are like a grain of sand, nothing. In the vastness of this cosmic space, this little body is nothing. But 
if this hidden sound finds expression, then this is like a key to everything. This not only opens me but it also opens the other, whatever I touch with this sound because this is my sacred key. So, every child when he is born, the parents were given the freedom to give them some pet name for their emotional satisfaction but his real name was given by somebody else who is supposed to know better than the parents, not always but that's due to lack of education, that's due to discontinuance of culture. That is due to inefficient transmission from generation to generation. Otherwise, this is done by someone who knows what is the fundamental reverberation of this little child. So they wait for a certain period of time, they observe the child, they make other astrological calculations and arrive that this is the hidden sound of this child and that is what we should bring out because it is only in blossoming that, it is only in allowing that to flower and find expression, this child will find full expression to his life. Otherwise, a seed that never sprouted, on the surface many things happened, that's not it. <coughs> And this is how even the deities are named. The other day someone told me, so, uh, you know, I sent word for them and they were not available anywhere. I said, where were you? Uh, this person said, uh, Sadhguru, I was at uh, DLT. I said, what? DLT? Where were you? No, I was at Dhyanalinga temple. Oh, DLT. <laughs> So you go to DLT, <laughs> it's one thing, I am your… I was in Dhyana Linga, that's a different thing. The deities are named like this. If you utter the sound Bhairavi, tears should come to you. If you say Dhyana Linga, stillness should come to you. If you say Sadhguru, a wave of ecstasy should pass through you. If you utter the sound with the necessary involvement because sounds are not just nonsensical garbage, sound is reverberation. If the reverberation is right, it gives you the needed access. So when the music is on, I want you to listen to the sound not to the music. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to listen to the sound, sound of it, not the music of it. If you want to have the pleasure of music, you can listen to music. If you want to find deeper access to life, you must listen to the reverberations, not to the lilt. Lilt is surface. Lilt is a small thing, beautiful, but that's it. The reverberations are the very making of life. How this one reverberates right now, it's… it'll determine everything about this one. <clears throat> if this reverberates right, it will not only determine the nature of this one's life, it will determine the nature of everything's life. It will not only determine the nature of the individual, it will also determine how everything else happens around that being. So when the music is on in the darshan, I want you to behold the sound, not the music.
Say.